one question that you may have in your mind is whether we should do something more complicated like an ANOVA if we only have two levels of a single factor. Should we just do a t-test? The answer is that it actually doesn't make any difference which test you do because a single factor ANOVA with two levels will give you exactly the same result as if you ran the same test uh, using a t-test of means. To compare the results of a ANOVA with one factor and two levels and a t-test of means, there is a version of the red and green data from the cockroach electroretinogram available from this URL. I will load that and we can take a look at the data. It's the same structure as the other data we use for three levels, except it only contains the data for red and green colors. Because we already know this needs to be log transformed, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then create the linear model for those data and run the ANOVA. This ANOVA is highly significant with P of 2.26 times 10 to the minus five. Because there are only two levels of the factor, I can also run a t-test of log versus color, just as I did in the linear model here. And I'm going to use the equal variance version of the t-test. If we examine the results of the t-test, the p-value from the t-test is exactly the same as the p-value from the ANOVA. It turns out that t and f are actually related to each other. If you take the value of t and you square it, you will get this value of f. I won't go into the gory details of how they're related, but this should demonstrate to you that a t-test is actually a kind of very simplified version of a, an ANOVA, or perhaps we could say that an ANOVA is a more generalized test of which a specific example is a t-test.